What it do is T.O. Rivers and BBK TV. Something how to be watch over there. You don't work, you don't sleep, you don't grind, you don't shine. I promise you, I got some of the baddest boys you ever seen with your two eyes. I need you to do three things for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Video start this intro. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Alright y'all, today we're gonna go over the American Bully versus the Peel Bull. I got a little notes here, so I won't get nothing mixed up, you know, so I make sure I get American out. Bully is not a Peel Bull. We just gonna start right there. It is not a pit bull. One of the most common misconceptions about this is it's simply a type of pit bull. And that's not the case. The truth is they are two distinct breeds. Yes, they are. Do you know an American bully do come from the pit bull? Yes, it comes from the pit bull. It has other types of bully breeds mixed in. You feel what I'm saying? The American Bully has its own breed standard. We're going to go over that a little later on in this video. If this video get a little too long, it'll be a part two. But we is going to go over the standards and different classes. The American, the ABKC recognizes 20 different types of bullies. It's a long list. I'm going to go over it just for y'all. If you already know you don't want to know, you can go and just skip through this. It's the Alpha Bulldog, the American Bulldog, the American Bully, the American Pit Bull, American Staffordshire Terrier, the Boston Terrier, Bull Terrier, Cane Corso, the Dogu, the English Bulldog, the French Bulldog, the Kaline Bulldog. I'm not say that. Don't laugh. I'm not say that. The Miniature Bull Terrier, the Mil Neapolitan Massive, the Old English Bulldog, Pacific Bulldog, the Presser Canario, the Shorty Bull. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the Victorian Bulldog. So it is 20 different type of bullies. American bullies. 20 different type of bulldog. Now, we're about to go over four different type of characteristics of the American bully that separates it from being a pit bull. Number one, head size. The American bully has a large built head, much larger than a pit bull much larger, especially in proportion to their body size. As you know, the pit bull has a longer nose, uh, slimmer jaws, where the American bully have a, a shorter muzzle than the pit bull, broader jaws, muscular jaws, blocky head, 90 degree stop, you want a 90 degree stop from Forehead to nose, you should go thump thump. 90 degree stop. Where the, the pit bull has has more of a slope coming from his head to his nose, and, and a flat head. So that's that's a uh, one way to identify an American bully from a pit bull. Does he have an American bully head? That's can we identify that? Number two is leg length. Most American bullies have short legs when compared to pit bulls. Only classic American bullies have average legs when it comes to length. The, the classic American bully is broader than a pit bull, but it's slimmer than American bully. So that's why it's a classic, because it's the, like the OG American bully where the American bully originated at. It was more of that classic look. It wasn't too extreme. Then later on, they added those extreme features. Number three, muscle. Pit bulls are muscular. I, you, I ain't about to sit here and say that. Pit bulls muscular, ripped up, ripped up. But muscles is what the American bully is bred for. Number four, the overall build of the dog itself. The overall build of an American bully is much wider than a pit bull. The American bully chest is broad, 
where the American pit bull is, is narrow, is slim. And the legs are further apart. As you see a pit bull, his legs are gonna be, they're gonna be in like this, right? He's gonna be a bully, they stand out because it's running like a bully. So it looked like, it looked like it's jacked up, like on steroids, but it's not. It's, it's bred for that. It's, it's in his DNA for that. So when you when you go on and you're trying to identify, is this an American bully? Is this a pit bull? Those are four characteristics you can look for and identify an American bully from a pit bull. All right, gang. So that's all we're going to have for this video today. I'm going to do a part two explaining the different sizes of the American bully. This video was just to explain how to identify an American bully from a pit bull. So I hope that helped you. If you have any questions or concerns about what I said or how I said it, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm gonna give a like, dislike. Uh, you know, I'm here to educate those who need to be educated who don't know nothing about an American bully and a pit bull. I'm here to help those who think an American bully is a pit bull. I hope this did y'all some justice when you come to my channel.